The exhibition is something that's been uh, hosted and created by Amnesty International with Magnum Photography and uh, depicts uh, lots of different images of uh, refugee uh, issues and crises over, over the years, right from uh, the Second World War up until today's uh, refugee crisis that we're uh, reacting to at the moment. What we're really hoping from the exhibition is that when people come and see the images that they're moved to do something about what they see. I think we could do more, definitely. I'm involved with the um, twinning association with our twin town in Germany, Bullpard. Okay. And the town there took over 270 refugees in a town the size of Truro. I don't think we've taken probably only a handful of people in Truro, so I think we could do more. The refugee crisis is still a massive issue. It's the biggest movement of people that we've seen, like I said, since the Second World War. And we have to decide as a people, as a country, what kind of response that we want to uh, show to these people that are running from war-torn uh, areas, um, such conflict and oppression as well. There is a, a huge network of volunteers and organisations in Cornwall that have worked really hard to do something about the refugee crisis and I'm seeing more and more people standing up and wanting to kind of put their head above the parapet and be counted. What we found with the election is that more people are getting involved now and people are beginning to realise that if you actually use your voice, in the end people will listen. If there's enough people, even the government will take notice and you can actually change things. And I would really encourage people to be as passionate uh, about these things as you can be. If we work together and support one another, we can actually make a really, really big difference to this issue.